Hello and welcome back explorers to Cuffley Camp Forest School. My name's Katie and today we're going to be learning how to make our very own woodland frames. Let's get going. So all we need today is some twine, some scissors and some nice long straight sticks. We're going to be creating ourselves a nice square picture frame just like the one behind me. Okay, so we are going to need to ask an adult to help us cut all four sides into the same length. Just like what I've done here with these ones. So now what we're going to do is we're going to connect our sides together. So I'm going to take one long stick and I'm going to place it just over the top of the other one and create myself a corner, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of twine like what I have here, all right? Now this piece of twine is about a metre long. I'm going to take a really short side in the left hand, then I'm going to take a really long side to the twine in my right hand. So there are three easy steps to creating ourselves a knot called the clove hitch. So we're going to create ourselves a step one, two bunny ears. So I'm gonna take the long side over the short side and that there is one bunny ear. Then I'm gonna create another bunny ear doing exactly the same thing. Long side over the short side. Then step two is you're gonna bring them both together just like so. So step three, if we're going to take our clove hitch that we've just created and we're going to just pop it over the top, okay, of one pole to our corner and we're going to just pull it nice and tight. With our short side, we're just going to leave out and then we're going to use our long side now to our piece of string. What we're going to do is we're going to just keep that nice and tight there and we're going to take that one over the first stick and then under the big one over again and then under and we're going to keep doing that until we've got the same length to our short string from earlier on so over under over under and over again pull it nice and tight Okay, now that that's nice and tight, I'm going to bring this one round to meet the short side and I'm just going to tie a little knot in there to keep it nice and still. And you can make a double knot out of this if you want, so don't worry if it starts off a little bit loose, that's okay. There we go. So we're just going to leave that one there and then you do exactly the same thing on repeat for the other three corners. So here we have our very own woodland picture frame. We can create these in all different shapes and sizes, including triangles, rectangles and squares. We can also use them to showcase our very own artwork that we've made here at the Forest School. Thanks again for joining me down here at the Forest School today. Two questions to go away with. Can you remember the type of knot that we used to create our frame? And our second question of today is what did you find most difficult when creating your frame? Thanks again guys, bye. <laughs>